Originally, people thought, let's try and treat chronic pain by giving opioids, and this goes back to the late 1980s. And over the years, people expanded the use of chronic narcotic pain medications without truly understanding what the long-term consequences were. And so we now have a situation in the United States where chronic opioids are being used in an overwhelming fashion. And what we originally thought about these medications is that we can use them to treat chronic pain it hasn't really borne out in the long-term observation. We can use them, but on average, they only provide about 20 to 30% pain relief in the long-term setting, not 50% and not 100%. And yet people keep expecting the medicine to do more and more and more. And so they keep wanting to take higher and higher doses. People get physically dependent, psychologically dependent, and then they have consequences from the medications that they're taking. Whenever possible, the underlying cause of a disease or a pain process should be determined, and a treatment should be directed at treating the underlying cause rather than just masking the symptoms with a medication.